there, it's Brooke, and today I have six Target tiered trays for you. So I have 11 in total. I have all different shapes and sizes, textures, colors, and everything. So I put together all 11. I'm going to show you six in this video and then five in the next video. That'll be a week after this one. I just tried to make them different, use all the kind of color palettes that I had you know, traditional, untraditional, cooking, baking theme, coffee bar theme, just regular theme. So I hope I got a little bit of something for everybody. Of course, I like how they all turned out because that's how I am and I always like decorating a tiered tray. I hope you enjoy and let's get to tiered traying. So I'm just gonna show you the trays in the order that I've created them. Well, this was the first tray I created and I really wanted to use my new peppermint marshmallow and hot cocoa little book stack. So I decided to put that up here and then I needed to find another anchor piece. So I wanted to use one of my mugs and I thought that my little snowman mug looked really nice with like the colors and it fit really nice under here on this tray and filling with the other items I was trying to decide what I wanted to use so I did go grab my toasted marshmallows that I use for like my s'more trays a lot should definitely get some non-toasted marshmallows but or I could just use regular ones I suppose or real ones but this is what I have so we're gonna pretend that they're not toasted okay and just put them in here and the next things I thought were my little mini mugs I just love to use these I think they're so cute they fit nicely up here by the book stack. And then I thought I needed a little something in the back. I grabbed this green kind of sparkly bottle brush tree and I thought that kind of like brought out the little green of his hat too and just added just more of the traditional colors in there. And then I also grabbed one of my little hearth and hand pine trees down here. I don't know, hearth and hand has some like a three pack and that's what these were. You could just buy them individually. They usually have something like that. Or you could just buy some greenery like this and and stick it to a like a wood slice or whatever so these would probably be pretty easy to DIY if you found the right greenery to use and then I thought it just needed a little bit more so I do have this candy cane cookie I do have some long like plastic candy canes but they just they're kind of big and skinny so they just didn't fit right so I thought this little cookie would just kind of tie in better with like the peppermint and having a cookie and some hot cocoa. And then I love to set little things up here on my books. I could easily like tie this into that um, ribbon on there, but I just thought I would set a couple of these little ornaments I have. You can get these all over. These are from Dollar General. They have them at Hobby Lobby and Walmart. And I think Target has some too. Yeah, they do, especially in their dollar spot. But these I just, I have from Dollar General. I have a whole bunch of them from way forever ago I'm from Target but these two I just like the more white of this and then the red so I thought this all came together just a simple little hot cocoa tear tray you know kind of focusing on a little bit of a red and white theme with you know the pops of green So the next tray, I grabbed this new Yum coffee sign that I have. And it's kind of a red, but almost a burgundy red. I really like to use these signs in these um, circle trays, you know, where like the top is small and the bottom is bigger or whatever, because they just fit so nice up here by the handle. I have a couple like this, so I decided this one looked best with it. And then... I was just going through my stuff and kind of seeing what had that red, but a little more burgundy red. So I gathered, I gathered, <laughs> I grabbed this little felt garland and then I grabbed this little target bird that has the kind of the burgundy hat. And then since I had grabbed this, I wanted to grab some more green things. So I have this um, kind of like camping mug, but it is a candle. Still smells, I've never burnt it. I got these on clearance a long time ago. I also grabbed this little like snowman cookie cutter with the green outline and Target does have these again this year. They always come out with a variety of these. I usually use mine for decor. I have, I've never used them as actual cookie cutters. I have cookie cutters that I like and then these are just decor. So those are the few pieces I grabbed. So let's start with where I placed the mug. I thought the mug fit really nice just kind of down here. I did put a wood slice under it just to elevate it a little bit and then I put the birdie next to him because that's about the only place he fits and I like using my birds on these wire trays because then I can kind of stick their feet out and they fit a little better. So now I'm going to wrap this 
beaded garland kind of around here. I think I had it in here. And then kind of dipped it down in there and then just wrapped it. That was way harder to get on there than I remember. I don't even know. So put your garland on there somehow. <laughs> and then another thing I thought just looked kind of cute is where I put the cookie cutter. And then I did want to fill in the back with a little bit of greenery. So I grabbed this eucalyptus or boxwood. It's just full of glitter, little greenery that you can find everywhere now. And then I thought it just needed a little something over on this side behind the sign. So I have this, can't talk right now. I have this vase filler. And so I just picked one of the more piney ones and kind of looped it through the wire and kind of stuck it out over on the side. And there was my fun little coffee bar tiered tray. Could be hot cocoa coffee bar. I feel it's very like cozy cabin is what it gives me the vibes of with this like kind of camper mug they call it the like metal mugs and art could be you know a sophisticated lounge sitting by the fireside having your cup of coffee. So once again with my house tray, I wanted to use my farm fresh little egg holders from Ray Dunn. So I just have them filled with my wood eggs. I did this for fall and I'm just going to kind of keep the theme up. Like last year I filled them with pumpkins and Christmas trees and things like that. And then this year I've just kind of been doing the wood eggs. And so up on the top since I used the eggs and the farm fresh, I thought it would be fun to use this Claws cookie coat little sign I have. It'll kind of stand by itself but not that well. So I thought my little house that I made, I just cut wood into house shapes and then glued or Mod Podge paper onto them. So that's all these are. The nice hubs cut those for me. And then since it said the Claws Cookie Co, I thought it'd be fun to put up my little mini Santa Claus mug. And then I just have a little whisk that I got forever ago from the Target Dollar Spot. It did have a string on it, but I cut that off. So it is just a little whisk now. And then I just thought it needed a little bit more greenery. So I grabbed another piece from that same base filler I got from Target and they do have more out this year I saw online and they just have nice greenery and berries and pine cones in it it's just fun to fill in in little spaces there's my Claws Cookie Co tier tray I am just love using these egg holders on this tray it's just like the perfect fit for me so that's why I keep doing it I do decorate the tray Right. differently sometimes, but this is my favorite thing to use on it and it's just been fun to do. For the next tray, I really want to use this new Farm Fresh sign that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I thought I would just put it up here and then I was looking around at my stuff and I was like, oh, red truck with the Christmas tree. Oh, look what I happen to have in my collection. A red truck with a Christmas tree. And these happen to fit perfect down on this bottom shelf. Oh, look at that. Now the bottom's all filled. So I kind of love using my trucks down on the bottom of my tier trays, or on the top for that matter. But they just fill up a nice space, especially these ones that are smaller. It's like, bam, put your truck in there. You're done. So then up on the top, I kind of had to decide what I want to do. So I have these little red and green bowls that I thought would just look cute. So I set those up there. And then of course, I grabbed a bottle bush tree. I tried like a more natural light green up there. I tried dark green. Um, for one thing, some of them didn't fit back here very well. There is a little bit of gold on these bowls. And then this is kind of like a goldy champagne green. And I don't know, I just thought it glammed this um, little cheer tree tray up a bit kind of with like the rustic truck theme I don't know I just thought it went well and then I grabbed a pine cone to put in my bowls because everything else I wanted to put in there fit weird and that just fit perfect so there's my farm fresh Christmas trees tray it's using a little bit of like odd items I thought but it's also like if you don't have a huge array of stuff and you just have a few like pieces that you use this is perfect they they look good I think this looks good together I think it looks cute and they all complement each other don't have to have like just a whole bunch of stuff you can just have a few simple things and you got a tear tray
So for this tray, I had grabbed my little bird set that I got last year that had the pink, the yellow, the turquoise, the red. Um, I think one of them kind of has a little bit of green in it. They do come in a three pack. Target has some back this year. One I think are more of like a blue and a gray and a green and then the other ones are like a red and a green and I think they're kind of ugly. I'm sorry if you really like those, but there's like a red bird and he just kind of scares me a little bit. So, I have these. I did use these in my master bedroom last year. That's kind of the theme. I use these birds and kind of pulled together a theme. This year I'm doing something different, so if you haven't watched my decor haul, I talk about it in there. So, grab my birds. I'm looking at this tray and I was like, okay, I'm gonna set one bird here, one bird here, kind of anchor down the tray. And so I had to decide what else I would like to do with the tray. Any hint? to what that was. I'll show you in a second. See you. I grabbed another one of my trucks. I thought the gray one just went well with like the muted colors. I didn't want to use like green or red and so I thought the gray was good. I do have a white one but that was being used so I thought the gray looked good too. I would have used the white on this too. I think that would have looked really cute also. And so I grabbed that and then I have this little 25 sign that I thought looked cute with it kind of with the white and just the simplicity so then up on the top here i grabbed a little red bottle bush tree a glittery one and then i grabbed a green one for over here just to kind of fill everything in and then down in the bottom I grabbed a jingle bell to put in the back of the truck. I always have to put something in the back of the truck. I don't think I've ever left a truck empty, so that's kind of my thing. And then I thought since I used one down on the bottom, I have like a pack of an assorted sizes of jingle bells. So I just grabbed one to put up here on the top, kind of fill in a little bit. And there's my simple little birdie tray. And I just love how it got the greens and the reds, but then it also puts in like the pinks and those yellows, the gold, you know, and a little bit of a turquoise. So it's a little bit of an untrue traditional like take on the traditional colors. And last but not least, we have the triangle tray rounding out the video. So the decor that I wanted to use for this tray was my new little Santa and reindeer. I did get these last year, but I got them way at the end of the year, so I didn't get a chance to use them. I think she does have them back this year. I can list the shop down below. It's just an Etsy shop. And so I thought they looked really cute up here on the top. But of course, you know, they're soft and plushy. So I grabbed my little wood slices that I have. These are from uh, screw ups that I made when I made my signs. So I just have extras that I use for risers. You could put anything back there to hold it up. Doesn't have to be wood. You just need something that is not gonna move around on you. I don't know if that's dog hair or his hair on him. And they will stay, you know, if you're gonna have put this in a place that's gonna get bumped a lot, you might wanna do something a little more sturdy, but that's what I have. That was my starting point. And then I was just looking around at myself and I have this like, I think it's a candle holder wreath. Not holder, but a, like a candle wreath or whatever. And it's from Hobby Lobby. I got mine at a rummage sale, but I still see these at Hobby Lobby all the time. And I just thought the like red and white looked really cute with like the pattern of their noses and the hat and everything. So I shoved that in there. And then I also have another one of those camping mugs. And this one says, ho, ho, ho. Does this one still smell? Yeah. This one still smells, they don't smell as strong, which I'm fine with because they were pretty strong. But I just got that to set inside this wreath as best I could. And I thought it was cute because it's a Santa, it says ho ho ho, kind of went along. So then I was trying to figure out what to set over here. I found some of my little trees from the dollar spot last year and I just kind of, see, told you, any sudden movements and he tips over. Stay. Okay, I did have three of them, but the other ones that I had just didn't fit right. They were too like similar in shape to this. It was a little wood one. And then I also had like a pink one, which that didn't match. So I just ended up using these two. And I just thought like them just kind of sitting here and then everything else, it just kind of worked well together and it was just cute. It filled up the spot. I've been kind of doing that lately on some of my other trays. You will see that I just kind of have, you know, little sections filled out of the tray rather than just like everything piled onto the tray, which is kind of fun for me because you know I like to fill them up. So this was kind of the first one I had done this on, but you'll see more of that coming. And I think this would look really cute with the light. I think these clear, spit it out bro, <laughs> these clear <laughs> Christmas trees look really cute with uh, like the twinkly lights and the lights you can put on there. Here's my Santa and Rudolph tray. That 
was my six Target tier trays to start with. I hope you enjoyed. I just did them in the order that I created them. That's how you'll see the next um, five Target tier trays in a week. And I hope you got some inspiration or motivation. I haven't seen, I've seen little bar carts that they had like for the fall Christmas time. Um, they have the Lazy Susan kind of tray or tiered tray out. So I don't haven't seen what they're bringing out for tiered trays for Christmas yet. Um, hopefully you have one already since they've been doing it for so many seasons. And Walmart does have that little one too that's comparable in size to these. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more expensive. Hopefully you can get your hands on a little tray if you would like a little tray to just put in a little spot in your house. I love putting them on end tables and then on my coffee bar or on a dresser or something like that. As always, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.